What's up, what's up, my beautifuls? Are you garbage at BO4? Well, you have arrived to a reasonably correct place. In today's video, I'm going to be analyzing some gameplay, a bit of a different idea, but I think it'll be very beneficial for anyone who's trying to improve at the game. Today, we're going to be looking at Cam the Sweat's PR. This is actually the most viewed Alcatraz video which came out after 2021. So, this will be a reasonably good video to look. It's also not my playstyle, so I can analyze it a bit better because obviously, we're not going to be looking exactly at what I do. So we're going to be looking at some new ideas in here. If you do want to see more analysis videos, I'm not sure if people would enjoy these types of videos, but I think overall it is a positive to make them rather than not. Uh, of course, tell me. And uh, Anyway, let's stop wasting time. Let's get right into it. So this gameplay is obviously going to be a squad gameplay. As you can see by here, squad, you can actually get a lot more 30 bombs. With where he's landing, this is an infirmary, pretty reasonable area. It has two entrances, so it's easier to loot because uh, the enemies will get funneled in. It does make it a bit longer to loot because you're not going to get the same ratio of people as loot here because people don't go into this area re reasonably a lot. If people land here, it's nice. And also, like you will see in the video, this area has a lot of free kill spawns. So this guy's just some AFK kid. Obviously, he has armor, but there's a lot of AFK spots like on the roof and even down there and here that you can take advantage of. One thing I would not recommend doing is actually looting up roof after you kill people here because there's nothing there. So if you do what Cam is doing right here, it is kind of a waste of time. The barbed wire play there is good, but what it will do is will cut off people to infirmary. So whenever you do put down barricades or razor wire, understand that wherever you put them, no one's going to go through there ever again. And that might be a negative rather than a positive. The, the way which he's looted infirmary is also very interesting because he kind of went in some... Uh, not exactly the same way I would loot it if you look at my videos. It works okay, I guess. I think it's a bit uh, time inefficient though. From this point on, you see he's actually kind of roaming around in the same place that, that he's been in. I would never recommend doing this personally, like if this was in my situation. I would be running to the other side of cell house as fast as possible, even if there is like enemies here, it doesn't really matter. That was an unfortunate death. The reason I would be running is because there is only a limited amount of time before a lot of the perks in your vicinity get burnt by people. That's why you gotta actually start pushing early game. It doesn't really matter if you die, that's what it is. But it's better to get yourself in position with all the shit that you need. Being on the roof actually has a few benefits, usually you won't see me playing here, but the benefit of this is obviously you get more people reapplying on you. The negative though, and the reason why you won't see me here is because there's no loot spawns up on the infirmary, so let's say I wanted to get some more perks, get some more guns, that's a rest in peace, that's a that's a sexy tomahawk. Personally, I would never use tomahawks, in my opinion, I think there is to the, might as well shoot your gun. But as you can see, Cam is using quite a bit of equipment, it's a very similar style to Fearful Dad, who will stack equipment rather than perks. The drops that he's getting are quite good. The timing for this is very good as well. You could actually get 40 bomb with this timing easily. So for the timings you would like, when this Dude, hits 0, you want already. 10. And then Super the next zone you want another 10, and the next zone you want another 10, and another 10. That's how like timings work. Fuck this shit. Right now he's following people, which I wouldn't be so certain about, especially because his loot situation is not looking quite interesting. So I did an analysis video on VGs, and it was sort of the same idea where people don't take care of their supply. And farming people so early on in the game who have nothing also makes that even worse. Because well, they don't have any supply either, so you're not going to get shit from them. So I'm guessing within this lobby, there's going to be a lot of reliance on, uh... On supply drops and shit. He's getting a reasonably good vacuum. I'm actually not- I don't Yo, really please know- please don't wipe this team over at Cell House. One of the biggest bots I've ever seen. I'm not sure why these guys are even redeploying back, to be quite honest. Because usually people redeploy back for two reasons. Either their loot or either their team redeploys. So that's the two incentives to redeploy, but these guys don't really have anything to be honest with you.
I'm not sure what his teammate was doing. Those brawler plays where you run back at someone, they're pretty good, especially if you have a team, so this teammate will hold it. If you're playing solo squad, that might not be a very good idea, because in, there is a lot of chances that one person might turn into six, so that's why I personally would always be careful with doing ego brawler plays like that. And also whenever you punch, we will rewind for the first time in this video, whenever you punch people, you can jump punch to get the punch to be further. So, before I entered Alcatraz, I mean, this, this was primitive, so this is kind of natural for the time. But it's just a normal punch. If you jump punch that, you will fling over. And because his back is to the doorway to where the enemy came, there is a small chance, sometimes not in this game, that more people will come from that same direction. That's why you want to jump punch. And also that nade helps you with that. So here's the most reasonable progression of loot, as you can see here, with a VMP by this time. For the amount of kills in zone, pretty good, very good. If I were to have this in my solo squad, 13 to this position, pretty reasonable. The north side zone is a bit shit though, usually north side is annoying to get kills, because there is buildings with roofs and um, multiple floors there, so you can't really get as much farming done, but... Not the biggest of issues. The stacking of whites, I would never recommend doing this in my life. I think the most you would ever see me in a gameplay with would be like 20, and that's still a mistake. Because in most cases, you will never use these. Even if you have consumer. So if you have consumer, it's more forgivable. But this will just burn out your, your space, which is an L. The way Cam is actually, the way Cam employs his movement as well. It's quite a, it's an OG sort of method, so it's quite primitive. The slides are actually very forward, and his centering is reasonably okay. Could be better though. Let me just take a look at this. So if you take a look at how he's actually walking into this area, he's looking at the pillar. I'm not sure if he's, what whatever he's actually looking at. But his centering is generally in the right direction, but slightly off in the wrong direction, if you know what I mean. Not, not, quite, not quite interesting. I mean, if you, if you look at the stairs, yeah, I mean, uh, you're looking downward, unfortunately. His return on the enemy is also weird. Um, his sense is reasonably high. I'm not sure what he plays. I don't know if it's 14-14, but it does, it's very sway, sort of. So he does sharp. Turns on people Dude, rather than 16 smooth. 16 with 32 left? Yeah. Particularly in this, in this game, he hasn't really done anything uh, very wrong. That sensor, I would never reckon putting there. Because people from Model will destroy it, so in my opinion, I would just wait and put it down somewhere in one of these corners down here. From this point on, you always want to hear shots, so throughout the gameplay, you always hear shots. This one is over here, so those are unimportant because they're just campers. Usually, from this position, if you go model industries, you will get people, although it's harder to farm. That's why you need a lot of loot. So with the north side zone, it's very perk heavy, it's very supply heavy. Powerhouse is a bit of a better area to do, because you can actually have people redeploy on roofs and take advantage of that. That's actually most of the perks done. As you can see, his supply is dwindling quite heavily. No armor repair. Shit bandages. No 9 mil. No perks. And he hasn't actually died, so it's quite unfortunate. And he's still stacking no uh, bandages, Dude, which is a big 20 L. with 30 left. Oh Let's God. fucking go. This timing is actually 40 bomb timing. With his mid game right now, he's gone a bit slower than in the early game. But that's still good. Definitely, no problem. 
the greatest pip I can actually tell a lot of you guys, which cam employs quite very well. If you ever want a 30 bomb, there's no point in trying to kill people with full loot. Just kill random bots to redeploy, and that's what cam is doing right now, that's what I do. It makes the 30 much more easier, same with 40s. This play might be a interesting one. I'm not sure what he's trying to do here. Okay, so he's just hearing out enemies trying to find them. That makes sense. Because there is no supply that he gathered, this game basically got capped a bit less than what it could have definitely gone to. If he had a brawler and a mobility in this game, this would have been much more, much more sexy. That barbed wire is still actually catching people off from all the way in the start of the game, which is interesting. If you ever want to know what equipment to use, barbed wire and barricades, yeah, no, although they're kind people. of useless, they are top tier because they don't take space, so you just place them down anywhere and they work. And after that you got grapples, which I usually use, and that's that's the only thing I really would bother picking up in the sensors. So grapples or anything, uh, and anything that will be able to be placed down. If you take a look at the kill feed, this guy has an eagle hawk, so this this eagle chow might be interesting. He got got beamed by that kid, but it's fine. If this were me, I'd actually straight up just push this, and he does as well. The way he he went here though was a bit interesting. You can actually do something better. If you jump from the high point here and just grapple, I'm pretty sure the grapple will um, end up there. Just sprint, jump off the ledge here and then grapple. Because then you have to then it's flying random shit. It was a bit less fluid. Also, what you can do on this, which I sometimes do, n not really necessary. If you c do this not in the middle but on the top, you will fling past the building and then you can fling back in. The benefit of that, and I'd say the only real reason to do that is if there's like two guys here and you need time to beam and beat down one kid as you're flinging on and you don't want to land on his face, so you want to fling past and then fling back in. It makes you basically impossible to hit, but you can still shoot back at these kids. Sometimes you'll see me doing that, so I'll fling past and then come back in. If you want to do that, you want to do it in mobility though, so you don't screw yourself over. You can do this on docks as well. 26 right now. You definitely need some loot, bro. On oh, guard. This supply is. That, is this supply is taking L's. He does know the importance of not wiping people, as he mentioned before, to his team to keep some people alive. That's not really a necessity, to be quite honest with you. If you're just going for a 30 bomb and you're playing at a reasonable pace, you don't actually have to worry too much about how much people are left in the lobby. That guy is a weirdo, oh my god. People do be doing that shit. I do have to say though, um, yeah, worrying about the people that are in the lobby, how many are remaining, is one of the lower sort of worries you should have. Just worry about your supply, worry about the shit that you can actually control, because most of the time you can't really control how many people are in the lobby, it just is what it is. Yo, Orange, you ever see somebody drop 30 kills? The way he looted that, one thing you should always take, but this is a very big weird mistake, I'm not sure why this actually went like this. Whenever you loot shit, what you would want to do, you have a daemon, one of the shittest SMGs of the whole entire universe, there is Yo, a big juicy eco hawk in there, grab that, pick up all the attachments, and then you just get ammo. I don't know why he never picked he that up, kills. or even pick up the attachments, but who knows. For the kill maximization, there's three people in the lobby, so you can actually get to 39. You missed that one kill. So that Eagle Hawk wouldn't have been a big difference. But the reason it's such a big mistake is because your VMP overlaps with your Daemon in the range that it has. It actually probably, the VMP just simply is superior in every manner to the Daemon. There's no reason for you to even own that gun in your background. Ob obviously, the benefit of that is the ammo capacity. Which maybe Cam is trying to go for because the 45 cal is much better than uh, 7... 6-2, it's much more common. At this point he's just cleaning up the, the individuals in the lobby. His teammates should be turning into support teammates right now, so they shouldn't be screwing him over. 
That's the benefit of playing in a party. Oh, that's my record. If I get 38, it's my new record. This straight push. That's interesting. Ain't gonna lie. I would never ever in my life ever recommend pushing people in a straight line like this. There is so much bullshit that can go wrong. First of all, windows. Second of all, this floor. Second of all, uh, third of all, if this guy ego chows you, runs out of the building, he will get a camera effect and beat your ass down. So this straight line push, that's like, I don't know, that, that's some, that's some AI behavior. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. So whenever you have multiple, like, people like this, always assume there's another guy. So this is why I said, like, you can't run in a straight line like this, because you don't know where the other people are. This, there might be some other dickheads up here who will beam your ass. So if you ever see one person, assume there's always going to be a third, and ask yourself where that third is, and try and move accordingly and push accordingly to what possibilities they have of engagement to you. So obviously the windows, obviously they could even, this ladder no one climbs up, but maybe windows, this bottom part here. Might even be a double chow here, might be to your left, which he was to the left. So when he came down with the information he has, I mean, he could have still been beamed from this side and then double child. Obviously these guys are bots, so it's not that big of a deal. But if you're playing against people who are actually good in the lobby, just always be careful of that. So that was a duo in particular. Last kids should be on model um, because that's the one place he didn't really check, but we'll see. The lobby actually got very much in his favor because the zone is very late and there is a reasonably good amount of people still in the lobby. So don't worry about endgame kills. Endgame kills, the only real reason they're necessary is just to extend however much you already had in the, in the mid game. The most amount of kills you'll get is always in the mid game. Now this, I don't know why he didn't loot this. I'm not, I'm not sure why people who play Alcatrazes don't loot bags. First of all, What, what the shit? Wait, why? Okay, let me let me just see. Yeah, he has no ammo. You should have looted that one. Fuck, bro. I was so cool. I had 30. I'm gonna have 39 downs at the end of this game. Let's come in a 40 bomb. From what he says, yes, it's true. If, if this if we should have gone to a 40, 100% it was the supplies fault. That was one p key pivotal pillar of this game that kind of went to shit. I made this uh, a bit of an unfortunate gameplay. Because there was actually like zero perks here. You got crazy over here looking for the motherfucker. Where? I don't know how. Oh, he was in the floor like a goat. New wreck. And that was a that was a dip out. I ain't gonna lie, that was quite quite sexy. I don't know if you learned anything from this analysis. I mean, it was quite decent. There's not really much else to comment on here. I think I've touched up on most of the points. So if you wanted to notice, I guess how supply works in the game within the early game you will get the most amount of pure supply. So obviously he had a brawler and a consumer as a perk. This isn't perfect supply, but it's definitely reasonably good enough. It definitely helps you out. And if you also look at the supply to kill ratio, the amount of kills that were done in the, in the early game were definitely the most, the most condensed. There were most in this position here. Supply gives you confidence and allows you to have opportunity. If you neglect that, like Cam did over time, where he burned out his perks, burned out his ammo, and went with really weird, interesting, heavy bandage plays here, what will happen is it will just impact the raw range at which you can push your gameplay to. And this goes to anybody. It's not entirely playstyle based. You can have any sort of playstyle you like. This is simply how you interpret the game. So this is nothing to do with playstyles. It's just interpreting how the game works. That's why whenever I play the game, I call my... Okay, and beam him. Okay, that, that was interesting. If you ever wanted to not miss, I think he's actually... He's actually strafing side to side, which is good. I'm not I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm not too sure where his aim went. I, I guess we, we need that Zim Apex. I'm not gonna lie. See, so yeah, that's why I call my ideas doctrines rather than play styles because what a doctrine is is uh, interpretation this is the same way you interpret supply and within this game you can definitely see that the interpretation of supply is like that where it is important as you can see with the kills dropping uh, or i guess kill potential dropping as the supply decreases so always pull up your supply that's very important most people make that mistake
if you ever wanted the most amount of supply, it will be in the early game. That's when most of the perks are. Where most of the perks are, they're not popped yet. The more you go past the game, the more less likely it is you'll find shit because number one, perks are used. Number two, people are killed with perks. And number three, obviously the map is smaller, so most of the shit gets looted. Early game, it's of paramount importance to loot. Cam, definitely, I'd say, pulled out a bit early from the looting grind. The biggest play here that determined that was his decision to return to infirmary rather than push out possibly to the basement you could even do it, any of the middle the middle is quite reasonably good in cell house even if it's not there you just you keep on checking sidelines here and you will most likely get some other nice perks it will just make the game last a bit longer to your advantage other than that, that might be actually everything else. If you have any questions or want me to give any of my input into the gameplay with, then I guess uh, tell me. On a positive note, this is 38 kills. That is a very, very, very good 30 bomb. And it's on a squad, so it is quite reasonable. If you wanted to do the to get 30s, I would recommend squads, obviously. They will give you more 30s. If you wanted 40s, solos is a reasonably easy task at least for me i'm not sure about other people though particularly i think that's about it for this video actually yeah if you have any questions give me them down and below tell me them down below if you do like me anal analyzing videos then obviously tell me i'm not exactly sure if people would like these i think it will definitely benefit you though if you do uh desire to improve at the game but yeah for now vive la gloire de bill cat and au revoir